Hello everyone, Hyper here, and in today's video I will show you the easiest and fastest way to optimize and increase your character's damage for raiding. Raid bots is a resource used by pretty much all the top players for optimizing our characters, be that for raiding or for Mythic Plus. Raid bots is essentially just simulation craft in the cloud, which makes it very easy to use and they have several features which make it very quick to figure out your best setup when it comes to talents, gear or stats. I will show you the process I go through whenever I am optimizing my character for raiding. First of all, you want to install the Simulation Craft add-on, either through the Twitch client or download it directly from the Curse website. After you have it installed, you just simply type slash simc in chat, all one word, which will pull up all your character's information in a text format, which you can then paste into the RaidBot's website. With the introduction of Azerite traits, the first step is to figure out what is the best in these item slots. If you don't want to mess around with the SimC input, you can get a general idea of which are the best traits from a website like Blood Mallet, which then you can use to compare in the top gear module of raid bots. And this same process goes for trinkets. You simply go to the top gear module and paste your SimC string that you copied from the game into this empty box. Then you select the items you want to compare. And then you simply run the sims with the default parameters if you're intending to sim for single target. And this is patchwork, one boss, and for five minutes. After you figure out which are the best Azerite pieces for you from what you have available, I usually figure out what my proper stats are. And for this, we will use the stat weights module. Same as before, simply paste your character's information in here and run the sim. The numbers near each of the stats represent the DPS you gain for each point of that certain stat. So depending on how close these numbers are to each other, you can make adjustments. The closer the secondary stat weights are to each other, the more optimized your gear is. However, if there is a large discrepancy between the damage you gain from one stat versus another, then you will want to optimize your gear further. For example, in this sim, my stat weights are pretty close to each other, but we can see that I gained the most damage from crit of the secondary stats, of course, and the least from haste. This means that if I can, I should drop some haste in favor of more crit. Typically, the easiest way to do this is through enchanting and gemming. But if you want to compare all of your item pieces and see which combination is actually best, then you just go back to the top gear module. And you simply, again, just like we did for Azerite gear, select all of the items that you think might be an upgrade but aren't quite sure. And after you run the sim, you will get the best uh, solution and the best item combination. I suggest running sims for your Azerite gear and for your trinkets separately, otherwise you will have way too many combinations and the sim will either take a very long time or after a certain point it won't actually let you sim it since there are way too many combinations. In this top gear module you can also play around with your enchants and gems and it is a lot more efficient and cheap obviously to do this in the cloud where you can theoretically compare what if I was to enchant uh, with crit versus what if I was to enchant with haste. So you don't actually have to spend the gold in game to switch those out and then compare them. The last module I will show you how to use is the talent comparison. Because for a lot of specs, some talent choices come down to the way your character is statted and the gear you have available. So for Death Knight, a very common choice is between Pestilence and Defile. And it will come down to individual characters which one is better for single target. So if I wanted to find that out, I will simply go to the Talent Compare module and compare the two talent builds that I want. In my case, I will go with Clawing Shadows, Ebon Fever, and then the third row doesn't matter, fourth row I will take Soul Reaper, fifth row doesn't matter, sixth row in one of the builds I will go with Pestilence, and in the other I will go with Defile. Then in the last row I will take Unholy Frenzy. So I will simply compare these two talent builds and see which one is better. So here I get the results and I can tell that the difference, again like I mentioned before, it is very very small. In my case, Pestilence is 0.1% better than Defile. So the DPS difference is tiny, but just looking at it on my talent tree, I could not decide which one is better. And this is a very easy way to tell which talent you should take in which circumstances. If you have absolutely no idea which talent build is best for your character, you can go ahead and just sim a bunch of different combinations and it will find the best one for you. And you can do this either for single target or for AoE. 
Thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and I will help you out as soon as I can. Make sure to like the video and sub to the channel if you haven't done so already. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.